the rainy weather matches my mood today. I'm not sad. I'm uh, dampened. Not in a bad way. So upon waking this morning, as I'm walking around my room with my eyes half closed, getting ready for the gym, um, I had kind of hectic thoughts of tasks that are kind of half done, but not that I left them half done. They're kind of things that are going to take like time to finish and like little niggling thoughts from my day started to intrude upon my morning, which is really the time I set aside for myself. And certainly in the gym, that is hardly ever the case, but it really was today. So I somehow knew to do this for myself. So in my shower, um, after the gym <laughs> and before meditation, uh, I have newly instituted a taking a contrast shower. So in addition to my regular kind of ablutions and washing, I now stand under hot water for 10 seconds, then freezing cold water for 20. And I do that five times and I need to build that up to 10. And the shock of the first twist of the knob to cold is shocking like all those little gasps that you do when you jump into a lake or an ocean is exactly what happens and i am no wim hof like this does not come easy to me but it settles me uh it both lifts me up and calms me down at the same time i can't really describe it and what came up for me in the shower was use this time use this experience Use this being baptized by today to leave that ship behind until you're ready to pick it, pick it up, until you decide to pick it up. So when the times that are yours can truly be yours, unplug from that stuff, w literally wash it away. And then when it's time to pick it back up, you will. And I did. I was able to really kind of scrub it out of my hair, scrub it off my body. And again, almost with the shock and and um, the body cue of the hot and cold repeated wa water falling on me, I was really able to put myself in a different space. And so following that, my meditation was very peaceful. Um, I was drawn to chant today but it was very soft and peaceful where just, you know, even at the gym, my mind was very erratic and jumping from like thing to thing that I had to get done and what was coming in the week. And, and that in the gym, that's typically not like me. I usually leave my shit at the door at the gym. It's a relief to go there, but I couldn't like get that shit out of my head today. Um, and so this act of using my shower was a beautiful way to kind of step out of that mindset, a physical reminder to get out of that space, to release me so that the time that's mine is mine. And the time that I need to share in my work, in my work, I'm more able to do that because I'm more present because I took my time for me. Now, listen, I don't have young kids anymore, and I know how precious that four minutes in the bathroom is because you literally do not have a moment. I, I completely am compassionate to that. Um, I have the luxury of not having a dependent home, and, and I don't take that for granted either. So what I'm saying is use that time that you do have for you. Do some sort of act. Wash your face. Wash your hands slowly. Pick a really beautiful soap. That is something that I do. Is that I use a beautiful handcrafted soap that my girlfriend who makes them herself in her beautiful shop, she makes them with care. It's so clear. And because I'm taking that moment with something beautiful, I make that moment, like I said the other day, I make that moment into a ritual, into a purification, into an, a, a, a blessing, a blessing. We don't bless ourselves. We tend to bless others easily, but we don't take the time to give ourselves that blessing. And again, even if your time is short, Use that small window of time you have to make it yours 
and give yourself a little bit of real doses of love and compassion. A little cheerleading. So I urge you to take that moment today and I will see you tomorrow.